Well, things are changing, but what exactly is happening is not quite clear to quote a song or one lyric on the song. So I'm going to split this into two halves. Let's deal with Aaron, who's decided probably a little bit more boring in this instance. So Aaron and Jenna, his mistress, there's no easy way to give her a label. That's what she is. So Jenna's just been focusing on lifestyle issues on her own channel. She just did a lot of dress up. Why? I don't know. She just did it. I guess she's imitating Reese. And we'll get to Reese, but let's just handle Aaron. So Aaron and Jenna went through... Um, Again, these are shocking things in terms of how children were being trained as well as used for labor and Scientology. However, they kept leaving out that Jenna's family was more implicated in this operation than they let on. So it really is just meant to show Jenna, again, as this very heroic figure. I also find it interesting that Aaron is very politically correct around Jenna. Outside of Jenna, he gets very crude and very ugly and nasty. And again, I'm not that sensitive, but he recently did a thing with Reese, and it was um beard. And like honestly, the restaurant manager would come over and be like, uh, "I so sorry, but can they take a photo, photo?" Am I going to get canceled? People tell me don't do the accent. People say don't do the accent. Yeah, it's probably Is not that... the best thing to do. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it makes me think of that time we did a stream, and we were talking about that. Scientology actor member, and I, what did I say his name was? And you now, whether any of this really happened, I don't really know. I mean, it could be the case. I actually do study China seriously. Yes, there are large parts of China that are still relatively isolated. I have a lot of doubts here. I mean, I'm sure they do get quite a few visual images of quote white people. So, why Aaron would stick out as this special teddy bear, I don't know. But maybe this was a real anecdote. I don't know. It, it just felt a little strange. I mean, Aaron has been doing this for a while, trying to do this kind of alt-right comedian stick, be Joe Rogan, but with even less charisma. I don't think it works for me, so I just don't find him that funny. He, he is capable of being really funny and witty, but when he's trying to force himself to be, what, cutting edge, it, it just comes off very manufactured. And that was the problem with this whole interview. It was just very stale, bland kind of just propaganda for their side. And they also really didn't give us too much information that we didn't know. And Aaron didn't even apparently do any research for this. He just said, oh, yes, Jenna, this is your memory. Yes, Jenna, that's your memories. And, you know, and there we go. So kind of bland, but I guess that's what they're reconstructing themselves as, this kind of family-friendly couple. I don't know. It's very weird. Now jumping on to Reese, and that decidedly was a little bit more vicious, but it is very strange. So when Reese and Aaron did more regular content together, um, and again, I only watched a few other things, some of the things were informative, but to put it mildly, they would just dive into these very superficial topics. And this is another one where uh, Natalie and Reese are profiling mothers in Scientology. These with Aaron. And what this group was called, it's a private group on Facebook called Scientology Moms. I had been in this group since I was pregnant with Huxley. So 2008 is when I think I joined that group. And uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff in it. And it's all, like I said yesterday when I was preparing you guys for this, it's the behind the curtain stuff. This is seasoned, seasoned Scientology talk, speak, language. It's a private, you know, no, no public could see this. Well, if it was at least celebrity mothers, I might understand because it is pretty horrifying when you look at the high profile Scientology mothers like Laura Prepon or Minkoff and people like that. They're doing some very ugly propaganda. But um, these women just seem to be kind of pathetic. And really, what's the point of this? They're mocking that they have different nurturing habits with their children. And this is YouTube. I can't even get more explicit than that because YouTube is so crazy and uh, anything. But apparently Natalie and Reese were trading notes on, oh, these women are not really women. They're not feeding their children properly. Something is going wrong here. So it seems kind of like just superficial goop, frankly, to just keep the audience going. But then it really shocked me that, and Reese admitted this, that this is technically private information feeding not allowed in Scientology. I wanted to answer that real quick yeah. because he does include in the barley formula reference on that. Do not breastfeed. He says, do not breastfeed because modern mothers in these modern times 
uh, have horrible diets. They don't eat the proper amount of protein and they're just dirty, dirty women. So no, don't do it. I recall like, what exactly are we doing here? And it wouldn't matter except that Reese was getting really upset that Jeff, her ex lover was getting into her private information. And you're like, well, I don't get it. Are you just special? Can you go into people's private information, but they can't access your private information? Is it about controlling the narrative? I don't know. I also find it funny that Natalie more and more seems to be modeling her channel after Reese. So if the Aaron Jenna channel is now going to be like this family propaganda channel, I guess the Reese and Natalie channels will be the lifestyle women's channels. And this is what they're going to do. They're just going to be mocking and talking smack about other women and their how they grow up their children or whatever, feeding habits. It just seems very superficial all around. And I get it. They're in a state of damage control because there's just been a lot of scandals. So they got to find some topics that will amuse their audience, but not dive back into the uh, really big pit with Nora, Serge, Miriam, and a lot of allegations going back and forth on how they're treating people's information. I just don't think this is very effective, even as propaganda. I mean, you can just see right through it. I'm like, okay, these Scientology mothers are a little weird. Got it. But weirdness is not against the laws. Is this even going to be effective against the cult? I don't know. I don't know. And it just seems that Reese is kind of setting her audience up to betray Tommy Scoville. I think we saw this for a while, but now it's kind of becoming more and more clear. She's going to set up a narrative where she's been the innocent woman all along that Jeff and then Scoville horribly mistreated her and completely tricked her. And Reese was just tacking along. She was just, you know, carrying guns. Shipping guns, transporting guns, but she doesn't know what she's doing, guys. Doesn't know. She's a babe in the woods. But there we are. But uh, I can't lie. I mean, Reese does sell her story pretty well. When Natalie does it, though, I really can't believe it. Now we have like just testimony after testimony after testimony from the celebration of life to much more current things that she is just lying to people all the time, all the time. And in terms of more substantive issues, she was to do something with apostate Alex, who's been doing a lot of protests in the UK, but magically that couldn't happen. It was canceled, and apostate himself didn't really elaborate why it was canceled. It was just canceled. But we kind of all know why it was canceled, because apostate Alex isn't going along with the uh, Aaron Smith love and propaganda drive, so he's been exiled. Is he doing good work? I think he is. I have my own criticisms of Alex, but yeah, the protests there seem to be very well organized. Seem to be very effective. Uh, on the Aaron side, when they do the protest, they're just walking around taking photos of themselves. I mean, you can call it a protest, but as protests go, it's it's kind of lame and pathetic. So that's where we're going, I guess. Aaron with Jenna will do this very PC-oriented talk about my old memories and uh, leave out critical parts that make them look bad. And Reese and Natalie will focus on just being women in the spotlight, being women's, talking about other women's, and how they're not really women's. They need to learn from Natalie and Reese how to be real women's, you know, and work with convicts and criminals and scam artists. They're the really inspiring women of today, I guess. But on a serious note, uh, as far as I know, Jeff is still going to be pressing charge against Reese. So whether this fake out campaign really works, I don't know. And I would wonder if this is all being done because she's losing quite a few subscribers. I'm pretty sure she started, pretty sure a few months ago she was at 21,000, but now she's lost at least 500 people, which for Reese is actually pretty good because she's really popular and she's making pretty good money. Apparently it's an estimated $10,000 from YouTube alone. So uh, don't cry for her. She's still got a lot of popularity, but she's losing a few people. So I guess this is her effort to ingratiate herself with the Aaron people and their, um, their slapstick nonsense, I guess.